What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of SkateRC today. We're going to learn how to put shocks on the Trek Stampede XL5 to wheel drive. This shock I have here is the one I ordered from Atomic RC about two weeks ago. And I'm finally going to put them on. Okay, the first thing you have to be careful is here on the Trek Stampede arm. You have to be careful with these two mounting holes because he on, on this part of the shock. Because you could actually go past and the arm will get stuck on this part of the shock. You might have some trouble at first, but still slip in. See, right there, it's on. Get the little screw. Pass it through a hole. I'll learn how to put the shock right there. Sometimes you gotta screw the shock in. Doesn't work. Back. Meanwhile, let's go put the front on. Gotta be careful with that thing. Okay, gotta find the right shocking. These shocks are full aluminum. The only, only one part that's not aluminum is the bottom part. Yeah, you can see I'm having trouble. Okay, we will come back right now. I'll show you how to put the rare ones right now. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? So, uh, we're back and now the front shocks are installed on the truck. You can see they were pretty easy to install, but with one hand it gets harder. As you guys can see also in the back here. I got the aluminum shot towers and um also from atomic RC and and every, anybody out there that knows where I could get aluminum body mounts please leave them in the comment section now we're gonna move to rear side to put the shocks on yeah, as you can see it's much it seems much easier in the back you also have the rear shock tower right there and also i'm looking for rare um body mounts also if anybody knows please leave them in the comment section okay now we're gonna put on the rare shocks tower you can see sorry about that and you want to like want pre-thread them with your hand before you actually start doing it. You can see they were pretty straight on forward. Now we're gonna move to the bottom side. Kinda wanna use if you have a track stampede, you kinda wanna use the um the second hole from the or well, if you're like on the right side of the truck, use the second one going from the outside, not from the inside because the shocks will get too much pressure and you could blow something from in the shocks okay guys um i'll come back why i, I screw the bottom one so guys now i'm gonna show you how to do the rear shock how to install the rear shock on the on the shock shock tower okay grab the tool come out to use both hands for this on the on my other bit on the then I have to switch to on the same as I told you that before kinda of have to use the second hole point from the outside in then I have to pre through it the hole because it kinda won't stock point And it stop for take some time okay guys 
with the shark towers and now it's dark with the sharks and as you can see the truck's pretty badass with this new atomic rc 110 scale shot aluminum shocks you can see i have also aluminum i'm almost out of all of the new suspension okay guys thanks for watching skid rc and see you guys in the next episode of skid rc thanks and please remember to like and subscribe thanks